Good morning, everybody who's been watching our videos, and really appreciate it. Um, today we are starting on a huge project of cleaning out the other half of what we call as Building C. Building C is basically our warehouse. I'm gonna say it's like a 12 foot eave, so it's not really a big, huge warehouse, but it's, I think this is about 3,500 square feet in here, 3,000, something like that. I'd have to do the measurements again. And basically, we're just moving everything onto the concrete portion so they can pour concrete this next week. So we'll have some video of uh, Ross Construction going through and getting everything prepped and poured. And there's my son, Buck. He's working really hard, like usual, pulling down some cardboard. Uh, there's my father-in-law, Phil. He's going to be helping us maybe wreck stuff or not. I'm not sure. So we got a time-lapse camera going. Uh, let's see if I can... Ah, I'm going the wrong way. Right there. So hopefully it's working right, and we'll be able to see all the action. And time-lapse motion, I guess, is the best way to put it. So uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see, I think, the whole project. So like I said, we are just starting to move everything out today. It's a Saturday. It's nice warm weather. And the contractor said if everything goes smooth and we get this done today, I'm hoping they can even be pouring by next week, Friday, they said, which is really awesome because that's about a month ahead schedule or about two to, ah, well, quite a bit because I still have four weeks of teaching left. So that'll be really nice if this gets poured. Then I bought brand new pallet racking that's out in the yard. And we can put pallet racking up here and start organizing this place and starting on project number two, which is building A. And cleaning that out so we can pour concrete in there. And like I said, this year I'm planning on pouring two 2,000 square foot pads. So about 4,000 square feet total we're planning on pouring this year. And that's before the Kickstarter. So if the Kickstarter does really well, then we're planning on pouring even a third pad this year. But... I don't want to get my hopes up too much on that because I don't want to be dashed just in case it doesn't work out how I'm planning. Okay, this is where we're at. It is about 4.30. It took, we started about, I don't know, what time did we start, Buck? Nine. Nine? Nine. Why don't you go into shed more because you're, uh, you look like Jesus with the lights like around here. So, no, go in the shed, ah. you know? Um, yeah, we started and uh, we finally got it done. Everything went, I don't know, did everything go good, Buck? Went fine. Went fine. A little hectic there. A little tiring. The only thing we can't move is that huge machine for making washboard parts. Our skid steer picks up about 1,700 pounds. We might have put that in here with somebody else's skid steers because when I first started, I used to rent lots of skid steers and borrow them from friends and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have to find someone with a heavier duty skid steer to pick that out. But uh, basically we got the whole room done. Uh, if the time-lapse camera worked properly, we will have, um, we will basically have that footage too that we'll have on our website and all that. Uh, there's a lot of junk in here. Some stuff's gonna get tossed. I just didn't wanna start doing that today because my main goal was to get the shed cleaned out. So now it's all ready for concrete. And uh, one big step for, or one small step for mankind, one big step for us, I guess. So I'm excited. I'm glad it, we got it done today because I was a little nervous that we'd be here till eight, nine o'clock at night because it wasn't going so good in the beginning. So we got all that done and we got lots of stuff outside, but it's stuff that most of it can get wet. It's not crucial stuff. A little water's not gonna hurt the stuff outside. So we might bring some more of it in tomorrow. We're, we're tired and we're gonna take some time off. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so I know we have to work in the wood shop a little bit, but uh, we at least got this project done for the day. Mm -hmm. 